So Patrick, people apply, they do the cover letter, the submit, and then they get the phone or an email saying that we'd like to do a phone interview with you. Yeah. So any, uh, any tips in that sense, how people should be prepared for a phone interview? Sure thing. Um, I guess first off, it's make sure you know which job you're being interviewed <laughs> yes. for. Uh, you know, a lot of times with, when we're looking for work, we don't just apply for one job. Yes. You know, so so make sure that you're clear in your mind who you're talking to. Yes. Uh, it may sound really basic, really elementary, but in fact, yeah, there's a lot of people forget to do that. And if you don't know, please ask. I've applied a few jobs. What's yeah. the name of the company? Who are you? You know. Well, that's exactly it. And never be embarrassed to do yeah. that. Never be embarrassed to ask a question. Yes. Uh, you know, it's it's much better to do that than to assume something and then go completely down the wrong road. Yes. Um, but also do your research. Once you know and it's clear in your mind what it is you're interviewing for, make sure you're doing your research so that you can ask really good questions and, and demonstrate a keen interest yeah. in, in what the company does yeah. uh, and, uh, and that you're able to demonstrate how you can fit in mm -hmm. uh, to their needs. Yeah. And usually like employers uh, will say, is this a good time to interview you? Because yeah. they know that maybe you're not prepared, maybe you are already working and you're looking for another yeah. job. So recruiters will ask if this is a good time. And you can always say, this is not a good time. Can you call me or email me when it's appropriate? And as you mentioned, don't be afraid or don't be assume that they will not call you. Yeah. They will call you. Oh, absolutely. And I think right now, especially in, in British Columbia, uh, the labor market is very tight. Yeah. So uh, um, hiring employers <laughs> are willing to be a little bit more flexible on that. Yeah. But even in a market that's not tight, even where the employer might have the advantage in, in terms of a greater number of candidates, uh, a reasonable employer I is going to recognize that you're not just a worker, you're a person. Yes. You have other things going on, you yes. know, and, uh, and we want to be able to accommodate yeah. that. That's one of the things we notice with the employers that work with us is that you know, they tend to be dynamic employers. Mm -hmm. uh, they can be in cutting edge industries or they can be in more traditional industries, but they have a willingness to be flexible yeah. and to look for innovative ways to get the best out of their workers. Yeah. Thank you, Patrick, for that tip. And for the audience, again, watching or listening, if you have any other tips in terms of being prepared for a phone interview, please leave it in the comment section. Like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, and tune in for tomorrow for another question with Patrick.